Hello, I'm Ajay. Welcome back to Subahibi. I've been getting on the rhythm for Subahibi again. Like, usually, I do one episode every day. Sometimes two episodes if I'm really, really into the story. But right now, I've been doing one or actually two episodes every two days. So I do one session of a recording. I mean, two sessions of a recording in one day. And then take a day break. It's technically still once a day. If you think about it from an upload perspective. But I've been kind of enjoying this lately. Not like I actually even need a schedule for doing these. I just do them whenever I want. It does feel really nice though, playing this story. I... I'm trying to remember what happened the last time. That's the, the only thing that's bothering me sometimes. When I play, like... Not once a day, I forgot what's going on sometimes. So Kimika... And Zaku Zakuro were saved by Mamiya Takuji. I remember that. Was that the part where I ended? That might have been it. Well, let's try loading for now and let's take a look at the backlog for a bit. <laughs> I feel like that's how I ended the last video. Yep, that's indeed when the last time I recorded the last video. All right. So it looks like I'm still remembering correctly. <laughs> The atmosphere in the classroom was as uncomfortable as ever, though I doubt Megu and Satoko would ever touch these guys ever again, after what happened, dude. But the hate from before had disappeared. It had been replaced with confusion and ostracization. I actually do not know that word. Google, please help me. <laughs> Man, these words, dude. To exclude by general consent from society. Okay. So, being neglected, I assume? Yeah, being ignored, I guess. Or being rejected. I see, I see. Of course, the confusion stemmed from the incident last night. It was huge. We could only thank our lucky stars that we were alive today and that the police hadn't gotten involved. I have to thank people again though for like actually watching this video and stuff. Like I like this stuff but that doesn't necessarily mean that a lot of people would like this kind of stuff too. So I'm, I'm actually pretty surprised that a lot of people actually do enjoy this kind of story. Then again, visual novel readers are usually into this kind of stuff. You know, since it's like a very unique perspective. I'm just, uh, I'm just happy that people enjoy what, what I'm doing. So, thank you very much. <laughs> it didn't feel like we were being bullied anymore, but it was like we had become objects of fear. Like Akasaka-san and Iktami san had, had been before. After the two of us checked that our seats were safe to sit in, Kimika whispered in my ear. Satoko たった一人の人間に勝つことができなかったんだからさ。そうだね。しかし、マミヤ君って前はいじめられてたとも聞いてたけど。いや、I wonder like did he just suddenly get strong? That's like 
the only thing that's bothering me when, like, you know, Yuki and Takuji are, like, the same person, it kind of bothers me that someone that's weak suddenly became someone that's strong, that's strong without any kind of training. I feel like that's a bit unrealistic in a way. But who knows? Maybe it took, like, a while and not exactly just that one instant when he was bullied that Yuki suddenly came out. さあ、実際のところどうなのかね。あの強さはちょっと武術習いましたってレベルではなかったけどね。昔からそうとやり込んでる感じだった。そうなんだ。うん。合気道とかに近い武術だったけど、確か合気道って50年やって強くなれるか
Actually, is Mamiyakun at school today? He wasn't injured after the incident last night, so there's no reason for him to, sip, to skip school. So when we were Takuji on the 11th in Chapter 3, I don't think we see Zakuro at all until she killed herself. I don't remember exactly what happened to Takuji after he regained his... Um... His, uh... His consciousness or her, his personality. I don't think nothing much happened on the 11th. It wasn't until the 12th that Zakuro died. Though he did say something strange. さあ、早くしろよ。俺も今日あたりが限界なんだわ。明日になったらもう少し大和なやつが死ぬまでマミヤタクジの担当になるらしいんでな。さあ、お前らを苦しめてきた俺に復讐するなら、これが最後のチャ
Maybe she's wondering if she should be with Zakro as a friend anymore or not. Because of the bullying is gone. Akasaka-san and Kitami-san didn't come to school that morning. All of the students who got beaten up by Mamiya-kun were absent. I heard rumors that some of them were hospitalized. When did Shiroyama die? Is it today? Shiroyama still hasn't died yet. At noon, Kimika went to buy some bread. She didn't say a word to me. Wait, wait, wait. Is this the part where Mamiya Takuji saw Shiroyama doing drugs? Or was that like a lot? Mm. Is it on the 11th? I'm not sure. I decided to take her suggestion and head to the rooftop. <laughs> he was reading like always. Konnichiwa. I was always frightened when I talked to him before. But this time, I managed to say hello in a calm voice. <sighs> Wait, who's... This is still Yuki. He looked at me like I was a pest. He seemed like the Mamiya-kun from last night. The version that's not acting. そんなものはいらない。俺は遊びだ。趣味みたいなもんだ。あれが趣味ですか。ああ。俺はああやって人を傷つけるのが趣味なんだ。そうなんですか。ああ、そうだ。でも私は傷つけられるどころか守っていただ
ある画面に円が映っているとするはい Work on a plane. その円の円周のどこでもいいから点を決めて、oh, その点を中心にどんどん大きくしていくそうするとどうなるはみ出してしまいます、yeah. そうはみ出した部分は曲線となって見えるだろうだがこの曲線がもし無限の大きさを持つ円だったらどうなるえ無限の円ですかえっとどんどん曲線は緩くなっていくんですよね。Yeah, it would probably just look like a line. ああ、そうだ。Uh-huh. 円が大きくなればなるほど、曲線は限りなく直線に近づいていく。だが、これが無限だったらどうなると思うどうなるんですかあ、uh, it would overlap? I don't know クザーヌスはそれは直線になると言っている、oh, okay. I mean that makes sense なるんですかああ、数学上はどう考えても直線になるな円に任意の点 AB をつけて円周 AB の中心点を C さらに AB を結んだ直線の中心点 D として考え曲線 AB が無限に緩やかになっていくのを考えれば分かりやすい Yeah, it would become infinitely small, but would it really be a straight line? I mean, maybe I could, I could picture it そ、そうなんですか数学の授業で循環小数の時に習わなかっただろうえー、っとそうでしたっけまあ循環小数 0.999 まあ1と等しいということを理解できない、well, その事実に拒否反応を示す学生は多いらしく教えるのが厄介らしいと教育現場では投げかれることも多い Well in my class usually we set the decimals to Only like、um, two decimals behind them, and we just round up. Well, depends, you know. Below five, we round down. Upwards to five, we round up. Junkan Shou Su, Layton Q Q Q. The Yo are Mugen Ni Q are to Zuku Suji this year, eh? Correct, the Ich to Hito Shin this car? Jacob Saki of Kusat Dakudo. Bunsu was caught the Kanga r i v e 比較的理解は容易だ例えば3分の1イコール 0.333 だよ、oh, それなら3分の2イコール当然 0.666 となるだったら3分の1の両辺を3倍にしたとしたら3分の3イコール 0.999 となると考えられる。そうですけど変ですよそれだって三分の三イコール一だから。That's because two third is supposed to be zero point sixty seven. They had to round it up. だったらどこからおかしいか考えてみればいい。どこからおかしくなったんだろう。えっと考えても無駄だ。どこも間違い。3分の1イコール 0.333 これを受け入れるのならば必然として3分の3イコール 0.999 だとしたら3分の3イコール1である事実と3分の3イコール 0.999 が無矛盾になるためにはたった一つの事実を受け入れれば問題ないそれこそ循環小数 0.999 が But are you saying that infinitely small? Well, technically, I guess so. The infinitely small curvature is technically 0.999, so I guess you can say that's a one. So you can say that is a straight line, I guess. So, the Junkan Shou Su, 0.999, w a 1 yori hono skosh chisai nani mono kade wa naku. Okay. 1 sono mono da. 無限を捉えるということはそういうものださっきのクザーノスの
無限の円の曲線は直線になるっていうのも円周 AB の中心点の C と直線 AB の中心点 D その距離 CD で考えれば全く同じ構造になるそうなんだ I mean it looks like he understands why doesn't he understand? I don't get it at all. I heard his grades weren't good, but I guess he really is smart. And besides, exactly. 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 Mm-hmm. I think I have actually heard of the name Nicholas Colonus. Colonus, right, was his name? I think I learned this in philosophy. Surprisingly. I, it's too long, I, I forgot his name, but that was definitely Nicholas something. Are you trying to say that? Hmm. Are you trying to say with each repetition of the story of this story? We will reach to some sort of end that is like very good. Is that what you're trying to say? Technically, if you think along the lines of parallel worlds, right? When things that should happen didn't happen in that world. If if like a miracle occurred and like that specific something that wasn't supposed to happen keeps repeating itself and then something good keeps happening, it is possible that a good ending might come, but this isn't really that kind of story, is it? Um, from what I've been seeing so far, the story seems to be constantly on the same... On the same, like, timeline or on the same pace. N nothing so far has been weird. Nothing has been diverging. It's only like a, an alternate end, yes, but that's not exactly something that... Then again, I read a comment a few episodes ago that said in chapter five there's a there's a choice that actually goes through to the next chapter. So I guess that's when the the world diverges. Hmm. But like, I know this is like my own point of view. Even though the world diverges, I still feel like there's only one truth in the end, so... There might be two endings to this game, but I will know for sure which one is the true ending, according to me. Like, it might be different for someone else that's playing this, right? But... I always feel like there's only one ending toward the game. If, like, I, I know this is very stupid. Because the reason why you play a visual novel... The reason why I used to play a visual novel... Is because... Um, I, I hate games where it's like, like linear. Like the story is linear. Kinetic novel. Well, kinetic novel isn't necessarily bad. Like Umineko was good. But I, I kind of feel like... Uh, I don't know. I guess when I grew up, I... I actually prefer linear stories now? Hmm... Never thought about it actually, like... My first reason for playing a visual novel was actually because... There were multiple routes in a game. That always intrigued me. Maybe that... That's not how I think now. Huh. Because I did say there's only one truth. Hmm... Alright, let's continue on. So, not about Mundaida. Kareo another son of Mugeni Kodawar to Moka. Kareno eta Mugen to Ananda. To sing Akshana no desu. To 
ということはその無限っていうのは神様なんですか Maybe something even greater than God. So you got a Kono Homa Tsumaru Tokoro. Okay, I die so I isha the other. Mugen de Ari Tains de Armono. Summary Kamino Mugen say, oh, show me Sir Tamino Kunavata Shironda. Okay, so the rate and QQQ are each de Ari only. Kami are each de Ari Zen de Ari. Oh, I don't get it. えっと私には難しくてよくわからないのですけどマミヤ君は全然理解してるじゃないですかいや全く理解できない例えばクザーヌスケクサーヌスですね無限は一つであるとだがそれは嘘だ嘘なんですかあ無限には異なる種類があるクザーヌスから400年後にゲオルクカントールンより発見されているクザーヌスから400年後にゲオルクカントールンより発見されているオッケー無限には物事があるそれは対角性論法によって証明されるダイアグラルアーギュメントクザー
What the hell? さ最後にって何ですか間宮君転校とかしちゃうとかですかいや転校なんてしないさじゃあ He shouldn't say the end like that. It sounds like he's sick or he's going to commit suicide. He shouldn't say that. It's a lot more logical than having multiple personalities. The Mamiyakun I met underground was completely different too, so that would make three of them.
三つ子で影武者かそうすれば結構学校休んだりできて便利だなその言い方もしかして全然間違ってますか私どうだろうわりかしいい線いってるんじゃないかなるほど美女であるラクサーヌに近づくためには二つの人格が必要だった美貌と知性そうかなんかお前に言われてなんとなく納得したなぜあいつが知らぬを好んで読んでいたのか俺にも分かったような気がするあああいつそうだな俺もあいつもそしてマミやタクジも何かを成し遂げるために必要だったのかもしれない何かを成し遂げるですか Accomplish something. So Mamiyuka needed a body double to accomplish something? In other words, there's mon more than one Mamiyuka. That must be it. Come on, Zakuro. I mean, it's logical, but you're jumping a bit too much. You're jumping to conclusions too much. He didn't answer. He just looked at my face. Feels like she, he actually wanted to say his name there. Mamiya-kun's name. クリスチャンの知性を演じていたシラノは自らが何であるかロクサーノが知ることを望んだかシラノの死の瞬間にロクサーノはシラノがクリスチャンの知性を演じていたことを知るただそれは突発的なもの事故のようなものだ The more they keep talking about Serrano the Bergerac it Makes me like interested in the book itself, but my friend said it was bad. And though, then again, that is like secondhand knowledge. Like, you know, it is his impression of the book. Maybe I should buy myself Serrano the Berg Rock and actually read it myself. What was what's with this BGM? What the fuck? <laughs> But Serrano wished for it. I slowly recalled Serrano de Bergerac's plot. Christian and Serrano both loved Roxanne. They worked together to act out a single person and attract the attention of Roxanne. But since Christian acted as the pair's outward appearance, he was the one who Roxanne fell in love with. It's only natural. Intelligence has no physical form. Whereas a handsome face does. People don't fall in love with shapeless ideas, but rather a physical people. Roxanne couldn't love Serrano's immaterial intelligence. She could only love Serrano's intelligence when it was given the form of Christian's outward appearance. Serrano himself is immaterial. That's why Roxanne fell in love with Christian, not Serrano. So Serrano had to play the fool in front of Roxanne. Serrano could never be anything to Roxanne. Even after Christian had died, he had to keep playing the fool in front of Roxanne. I breathe my sighs and moans haphazard wise, call all these wandering lovebirds home to nest. There's a deep significance to those words. The person who dreams and the person who acts. The fantasy is ended by action. A fantasy can exist only in its unfu unfulfillment. Actually, I also agree with this, like, uh, I, I don't think I've ever talked to this on YouTube, but the reason why I like a waifu, you know, like waifu, basically 2D girlfriend or whatever you, you guys want to say it, um, is because I want to have some sort of differentiation between like and love. So I say to myself, I love this waifu, right? Um, and the fact that I can say I love something, but can't actually make it into fruition, is something that I actually want. 
I don't want to love a physical being because I'm probably afraid of them ever turning back on my on me or something. Like, you know, they might cheat on me. They might, uh... They might do something to hurt me. They might actually don't like me one day. They get to know me better or something. Something along those lines. Basically, it's caused by my own insecurities. I'm not saying most people that like anime are also like this. I'm just saying that's my take on what I am and how I act. And... Though I am enjoying myself though, it's not like this is something to feel pity about. And... Just because I like something imaginary doesn't mean I need someone else's pity. Yeah, I can't, I can't have sex with them, but really, that's not what I'm thinking all the time. Continuing on though, that <laughs> that's really like uh, have nothing to do with the story, but it's just something that, you know, I guess I feel strongly about. Our lady loves the phantasms of our brains, dream fancies blown into soap bubbles. It is the lover of our fantasy that we fall in love with. Serrano's love was fantasy only because it was unfulfilled. Indeed, if Serrano was actually marrying Roxanne, he might not have his true love anymore because he is experiencing that love. That love might change into something else. He might actually hate Roxanne when he gets to know her. But because he he didn't, you know, he didn't get with Roxanne, he was... I feel like his love is still pure in a way. I know that's retarded, right? Right? When I say it like that, it's retarded. How can you say that's true love when he's not actually feeling the love? He's just giving the love. I don't know. Christian's death is irrelevant. Irrelevant. Sorry about that. Shirano wa Christian ga shinda ato mo zutto jibun ga Christian no chisei no jinkaku o ukemotte ita koto wo roksano ni matsutai nakatta. Demo sore mo Christian ga saisho ni yomi ageta koibumi. Jisai wa saisho ni Shirano ga yomi ageta koibumi. I guess in a way that is how... I don't know if you guys are familiar with the word simp. But those are people that actually pay for... Porn and stuff like that. I'm not dumb enough to actually pay for something I know... Is fake. Like clearly fake. The reason why I like a waifu is because... Like I said, they're fake. But they're in my mind. They can never betray me. I, I don't know. I, I don't want to get too deep into, like, simps and all that kind of stuff. You guys can Google simp and what it is yourself, I guess. It's just like, I feel the world is getting really strange with how the internet is making us... Like, too much information can be very damaging to you if you don't know how to use it. You might not be able to process that much information and become something completely you're not supposed to be. Because probably Serrano also knows that you know, Serrano, like, Roxanne was in love with the image of a Christian with a smart brain instead of Serrano. And he didn't want to destroy that kind of illusion, illusion that he made. Serrano's feelings. Maybe he really didn't want Roxanne to find out his true identity. He definitely acted to keep it secret from her. He always, always kept it hidden from her. Mamiya can compare Serrano to himself. There's only one thing he could possibly mean by that. Hi. 
今はです<笑>な何がおかしいんですかいや笑うだろう俺の知っている高島はそんなではなかった変わったなお前 That's because I think this is an alternate ending already Mamiya or Yuki Shit Tomosane sorry I'm gonna call you Tomosane That's still looming over at the back of my mind, dude. Did I make the, the choice where it goes to the canon timeline? So, so much changed? Ah, before it was completely different. I can't imagine the thought of Takashima at that time. That's right, I can't imagine. But... I met Mamiya at the time... おどおどだけではありませんでしたおどおどだけじゃなかったはいドキドキもしてました<笑>なんだそりゃはい私はいつでもここに来るの楽しみにしてましたよなるほどそれは良かったななんですかそれ私はマミヤくんに言ってるんですよそうだなそうなるんだろうなだから今は聞きませんけどいつか教えてくださいいつかかなるほどなるほどじゃなくて教えてくださいもみやくんは silent そういえば何かを成し遂げるって言ってましたよねマミヤくんあ,あそうだそれってどういう意味なんですか一人では成し遂げられないからいくつもの姿を持つそういうことだシラノの話ですかいいや神様の話さ、ah? I'm so、confused now. 神神は三味一体の形をとるクザーノスはそれを三角形が最も小さい最小の多角形だからであるというクザーヌスってさっきマミヤくんが読んでた本ですよねそうだ彼は三角形とはあらゆる多角形の要素となりうる最小のものつまり一であると考える神が三位一体となるのはそれが最小であるからであり彼の説を取るならば最小とはすなわち無限の意味神ですら何かを成し得るのに三つの姿を必要としたんだ、はあ、人間が何か成し得るのなら言わずもがな想像調和再生人もまたそれぞれの姿を必要とするそれってキリスト教の神様ですかいやこれは個人的なことだキリスト教の神にそんな威嚇はない威嚇威嚇だまあどうでもいいことだがあほら昼休みも終わりだ本当だ飯食べられなかったなはいなんかずっと話していたら終わってましたほらよあっうん。He threw some bread at me. やるよ。あでも。いいから、取っておけよ。はい。あ,あの。なんだあの。最後って言葉の意味。意味なんてない。忘れろ。明日も同じ。普通の。平穏な日常だんじゃな高島ザクロあうん Peaceful day A normal day It seems like I haven't had one of those in a long time Lately I haven't been able to take anything for granted That's just how we've been living recently あのさマミヤくんだ平穏な日常になっても仲良くしてくれる
He looked troubled for a moment, and then see, and then he said, and いつでも... You can... That's exactly what he said though. What's with that dash 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 though? That's what he said in Japanese. You can come here anytime you want. I couldn't hear the last words he said. But I think he said he would be happy to talk to me anytime. Hmm... End of summer. This is definitely an alternate ending, isn't it? For sure, this is an alternate ending, dude. Oh my god. It's a, it's such a good ending, but... Why didn't this happen? Just like he said, the, day, the next day was peace, peaceful. And the day after that, and the day after that, they were all peaceful days. After that day, all the bullying stopped. Not only Akasaka-san and Kitami-san, but the rest of the class stopped looking at us coldly as well. Though Akasaka-san and Kitami-san kept avoiding us. Mamiya can act it normally after the incident as well. One thing did bother me though. mamiya -kun was the person from before. He wasn't the mamiya -kun who protected us. He was the kind, sociable person. The one who seemed to light up the world. He never again showed me the same expression from that night. Actually, this happened too. How can they all be happy, dude? It's impossible for all of them to be happy if they only have one body. Huh? Oh, うん、貸してたの忘れてたみたいだ。うん。手元にないなとは思ってたんだけどさ。そうなんですか。ごめんね。僕って物覚え悪いからさ、すぐに忘れるんだよね。また僕なんですね。僕って言う時は猫かぶってるって。え何それ。あ、いや。何でもないです。あ、そういえば他の方々。三つ子の兄弟さんたちはお元気ですか三つ子三つ子なんて知り合いにいないけど。あの双子姉妹なら元気だけ
間宮拓司のこと考えてた<笑>うん最近間宮拓司と会ってないみたいじゃんうんっていうかさ今の彼は人気者だから会える雰囲気じゃないよなんだろうねあいつあんな人付き合いが苦手そうだったのにいきなり雰囲気変わったなうんそうかもねジャクロあいつのこと好きなんだろ<笑>まだそんなこと言ってるだだってバカ I took her hand. サボっちゃおうかえサボっちゃおうよででもでも何な,なんかジャクロキミカスフェイスウェンブライトレッド I pulled her hand ちょあのジャクロそんな堂々と I grabbed my bag and pulled her hand あ私もカバン持って帰らないとはい。But oddly enough, once I took that step, the wonderful future I had envisioned suddenly changed. His form, which had been foremost in my mind, changed once I took that step forward. This might be a rude way of saying it, but I didn't think he should be the most important thing in my life anymore. Because he was splendid enough on, it, on his own, he had everything he needed on his own. I didn't feel anything for him anymore. This feels weird. Though not unrealistic, surprisingly enough, because if you think about it, the way she adored Mamiya-kun was really weird. And I guess the more, like, the more intelligent she became, the more she realized that what she felt toward Mamiya-kun was not love, but adornment, right? Adoration. And, he pro and she probably realized that Kimika was actually a really, really good friend. Though I don't know if she is good enough to be someone you romantically got interested in. But I could definitely see this happening. When I took that step forward, the scenery changed. The unusual became usual, and the usual became unusual. <laughs> Kimika complained, her eyes wet with tears. Kimika is always like this. ザクロはもっといじめられっ子で受け専門だと思ってたのにだから私はいじめられっ子じゃなくなったんだよそういう話じゃなくて<笑> 
なんかもっと M っぽいと思ってたのにどっちかといえば S だった<笑>そんなのよくわからないよだいたいあの日いきなり襲ってきたのはキミカじゃないあ,あ,あの時は Oh shit oh shit please please no no sex scene please no 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 私、なんか必死で必死であのただ引き止めたかっただけだったんだけどなんか勢い余って勢い余ってしちゃったんだキミカスフェイス turned bright red as she turned away そうなんでしょ Doesn't that count as rape? I know it's not from a guy, but doesn't that. isn't it. doesn't it still count as rape? そんなこと言うのならもうキスは永遠になしないそそれはそれはうん、oh, no. This again. もうザクロなんて嫌いだ死んじゃえうんこってね Oh now I've done it She's so cute I can't help but bully her <laughs> It's like the reverse of our relationship before. People are funny. They kind of are. Kimika! I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. でこのパターン何度も繰り返してきた<笑>だってキミカかわいいからついいじめたくなっちゃうんだもんその言い訳も何度も聞いた<笑>ごめんねなら約束して何をも,もうキスしないとか。意地悪言わないってうわ抱きつくなうんうん約束するよ君かうわうわなんだよそれ胸がでかいって自慢かうん。Okay, I guess there is no <laughs> sex scene, thankfully. A lot changed after that. Every day was different. Actually, at the, at the end, this happened. That was July 19th, the last day before summer break. At the end of the semester, I went up to the rooftop to talk to Mamiya kun. And when I got there. Ah. Takashima. Zakuro san. I guess this is her everyday. Her wonderful everyday? All right. I think I've seen her before. Palm. So I guess this is a story where. where they want to show you a happy ending for everyone. That's in the story. But at the end of the day, that's not what happened, is it? Right? It, at the end of the day, 
we rejected that happy ending, right? And that's what led us to this crazy stuff that's happening. Well, I don't know if they rejected it or not, but I did. I rejected chapter one so much. Because I knew something was wrong. Something was off. How did she know that? そう。だから、そう。地下室の魔宮君が優勢になるはずの戦いだったけど、今回はあなたの選択で魂の行方が変わった。魂の行方？そう。魂の世界。魂を繰り返し。Who are you, Basically, Zakro, this is what was not supposed to happen. As happy as this is. <laughs> no, this is not the correct choice. To, to Zakro, it might be the correct choice, but... To me, who wants to find out the truth, this is not the correct choice. You're not God? Who are you? さ、あなたは先に進みなさい。それこそが約束された地。素晴らしき日々の始まり。あ、あの、もしかして。Damn, I thought that Zakuro loved Yuki, but the interaction with Tomosane was a lot more impactful than Yuki's interaction with Yuki's interactions with her. Like, yeah, she had the most interaction with Yuki, but it felt to me like she liked Yuki as a as a friend more than anything. Tomosane was the one that knows most of the secrets and he was the one that actually told Zakuro in some sort of way, in his own way. So the answer is for me, Ayana. Yeah. あなたは素晴らしき日々を手に入れて、そしてそれ以外のものを失った。だから、あなたはその質問の答えを得ることはできない。それとも。Feels like she knows, like, she's... She's here to mock me, dude. She's not here to mock Zakuro. She's here to mock me. Ayana-san grinned. Because she knows I want to go change my answer right now. She knows. The author knows. I felt a chill run up my spine. Are you really just the author in... In, like, character format? I made my choice. Ayana 
Ayana-san gave another smaller smile and then looked at the sky. I still don't know what she meant by that. I never saw Yanasan again after that. I heard rumors that she had transferred or dropped out, but I never knew for sure. To be honest, it seemed irrelevant to me. The question I asked Yanasan on that day, even that question seemed irrelevant to my life. Oh, please, don't tell me they're having sex. I'm just making sure, okay? Okay, who? Okay, no. <laughs> Sorry there, Kimika. There you go. I was- I, I can't be sure, man, when I'm playing this game. I'm- I'm just scared. I knew my looming, like... The looming feeling that something was wrong. I knew that I was right. That I was wrong. <laughs> I knew I made the wrong choice by... Chasing after her. There is no wrong choice, but in my mind, there is always a right answer. The right answer is what will show me the truth. You know? I walked through the chilly park. I moved forward. What is this feeling? It's a strange unease. Like I feel uncomfortable about something. It's really strange. Let's go. When I heard her words, I understood. I see. So that's what it was. This feeling is probably the same feeling I felt when I first when I took my first step. I just forgot the feeling until now. This is probably what my first step felt like. It's not just me, either. Everyone felt this when they took their first step. It's the same feeling animals must have felt when they first started to walk on land. I felt nervous about my first step. There's no mistaking it. After all, it's my first step. It's the beginning of a new scenery. But eventually, that single step becomes an everyday experience. A single step into tomorrow that I so feared. That was common scene. That was a common scene. It became an everyday routine. It became easy. It became incredibly normal. Kimika hesitated. Of course she did. I was a bit too sudden. I've always been like this. Do I never had the courage to say what I was thinking? That's why she hesitated? <laughs> Kimika laughed cheerfully as she responded. The wind was just a little bit chilly. As the chilly wind blew in our faces, we held hands and walked forward. The first step into everyday life. We took one completely normal step into the future.
We are grateful for every moment. As we move forward in life, as we go, let's laugh together. I promised myself in my heart that we would. Just like so many other life forms, I too took that first step. What lies before me is probably wonderful every day. Wonderful life? Are you sure? I mean... I'm the one that's asking it, but you're the one that's experiencing it. Man, I feel... really conflicted, dude, by getting all these correct answers. <laughs> you guys don't understand, like, I really do feel conflicted. Seeing the, the happy things happen first and actually seeing the fucked up shit after that makes me feel very conflicted. Oh god. I mean, this is just like chapter 3. It's a very beautiful ending. But I know this is not ending that was supposed to happen. Chapter 3's ending was a lot more beautiful though, IMO. It's super beautiful. This one was beautiful in a different way because it prevented the disaster from happening. I'm feeling so conflicted. Still... Enjoy... The ending song, guys. Or however much longer it is. I'm gonna be quiet. Wow, there's still a cont continuation. I'm surprised. That day. What Kimika always called that day. I don't remember the exact date. Well, that's actually a lie. I even remember the exact time when it happened. But I pretend like I don't remember. I like to mess with Kimika by playing dumb. Kimika wants me to feel responsible for it until I die. She doesn't want me to abandon her until I die. She wants to be together until the end. Well, that's not important right now. This is, in my opinion, the most important day for us. 
Oh, please don't tell me this is a sex scene day. Oh, no. Chakra. If it is... I'm, oh, please don't do this. That was already such a beautiful ending. Kimiko, さがしたでも、君が掛け持ちでどっち行けば会えるのかわからないよ。そう。そんなことより、ジャクロは今まで何してたの部活とか入ってないでしょ私私は、えっとね。I laughed and tried to play it off. Though it's not like I needed to hide it. The rooftop. Oh, so she thinks I went to see Mamiya kun. I don't really understand her. At first, she was always telling me to go see him. But since summer break started, she's gotten really upset anytime she's heard about me talking to him. Which one is it? That's what I want to ask her. Jeez. Oh, she really is in a bad mood. Jeez, Kimika. What's the problem? なんというか、夏休み終わって久しぶりに会えるのに。なんかさ、ザクロ。ナミヤ君とばかり会ってて不満なのそ、そんなことないけど。そ、そりゃ、ザクロの気持ちは知ってるし。She was misunderstanding something. She must have thought that my relationship with Mamiya can change over the summer. But nothing like that happened. I just had a normal summer. I never met up with Mamiya kun. I just spent my summer studying. Oh, sorry. I don't feel that way about Mamiya-kun anymore. Why would she need to worry about getting in my way? I'm probably gonna skip the H scene, not gonna lie. But I will at least voice everything before and after the H scene. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely just gonna cut out the H scene. It's fan service, but I feel like it's fan service that's not needed. So nanda. Ma so da yo ne, so tsu nyo chikai shi. So re ni shite mo ben kyo ski da ne, Kimika wa. Me, me tsu ni ski ja nai wa yo. So re ni, yara nai yori wa yatta hou ga ii de shou. Doku ni rike chishiki wa, iro iro to yaku ni tatsu kara ne. それは見せつけられたよ。まあ文系なんて何の役にも立たないけどね。社会に出てからもクズだし。何それ？文系バカにしてるの？うん、バリカシ。マミアだってどうせ文系でしょ？あの人数学とか得意みたいだよ。得意
それって私も他人ってこと ?Yup People are free to think however they want whatever they want ななんでそうなるんだよだってそれって私に嫌われたっていいってことなんでしょ If that's truly what you think of me after the whole thing, sure. That's what I would say. But Kimika. <laughs> probably not. Maybe because she likes Zakuro a bit too much. I will say this I will always like myself over everything else. I'm always number one in my, like, likeliness towards something. Like, it's just common sense to me. Like, I would have to like myself to like something else. So, so in that way, though, maybe I'm a bit egotistical, and that's why I wouldn't be able to put anyone else above me. But isn't that just common sense, though? Liking yourself more so than anyone else? <laughs> とりあえず、他人のことは知らないわよ。でも、ザクロは他人じゃない。That's true, Kimika, but at the end of the day. なら、私はえあ,あの。Why is her face getting all red? 私たち、友達ではあ、そ、そうだ、それ、友達だだから他人の悪口はいいのというか、私が口が悪いのはしょうがないこれはサガだしょうがないとかないよ。悪い癖は直そうとしないと治らないよ。えだから、そういうのも直そうよ。わかったよ。ザクロがそこまで言うなら気をつける。なんでそんなにぶっきらぼうなのかななんか本当に機嫌悪いんだねなんで私が機嫌悪いんだよいやあからさまに悪いしだってさ久しぶりなのに久しぶりなのに私が誰かと会ってたから不機嫌なのかなだ誰かと会ってたそうなんだやっぱり二人でいたんだあいつと No, it's not like I was with him Is that what Kimika thought? I kind of wanted to ask what she's thinking <sighs> それでどんな感じなの何がそんなのマミアとに決まってるじゃないいや別に何もな、なんでもうキスぐらい終わったでしょ She really was misunderstanding something. I didn't feel that way about him anymore. あのね、何度か言ったけど私は別に。だから、そうやってごまかす癖やめなよ。進めない自分に対する言い訳だよ。What? I'm not making an excuse. And just what does she think we did? Stop thinking about other people more so than yourself, Kimika. She's starting to get on my nerves. I should tease her a bit. そう、キミカ、そんなこと言うなら、もちろんやったことあるんでしょキス、oh, あ、あの、えっと、あれもしかして、マイクセにそんな偉そうなこと言ってたのかなバ、バカにするな私だってキスの1回や 0.5 回くらい What's half a kiss? You're getting a h e a d of yourself, of yourself Kimika. やったことあるんだあ、あるわようんなら見せてよえキスしてるところを見せてそんなの見せられるか
だいたい今は一心上の都合でフリーだそうなんだでも本当なのかなそういえば今までキミカの彼氏の話とか聞いたことないなかっそ、sorry God damn it <laughs> Sorry, sorry I'm actually spacing out because I keep thinking Oh my god, this fan service どんな人と付き合ってたのかなキスの経験があるのなら言えるはずだよね言えるよえどんな人とキスしたことあるのんーなんかなんか人だよ男の人っていいじゃんなんでザクルにそんなこと言わなきゃいけないのよだってなんか嘘っぽいなーってそそんなことないつーか嘘とか失礼だふんそうなんだわかったうん見て、oh, その言い方信じてないのかよ別にただ証明できないんだよねだからもういいようんキミカって理系理系っていう割に証明できないこと簡単に言うんだって分かったからんだとんじゃあ反証実験するか反証実験あ,あ,あいやいやあんなんでもない今のなし I'll see you guys in a bit <laughs> oh god <laughs> It's definitely happening soon. Her face suddenly reddened. <laughs> she looked away. What's she thinking? Wait. Oh, by experiment, she means. I felt embarrassed too. Then Kimika. Ano sa Zakuro. Kiss no jikken to you ka, renshu to you ka. Sonna kanji no mono, shinak te i no? Eh? Ah, yeah. Nanka jikken to ka nata kara sa. Umuazu kite mi te dake da kara. Ah, ah, ki ni shinai de. Kiss no jikken. Practice kissing. No, it's not like I'd be ex I'd be practicing to kiss someone else, so I can't really call it practice. I'll just show you guys the, the CG where they kiss or something here, and then I'll fade it to black and skip to the end when the sex scene happens. Kimika doesn't know, but that would be my first kiss. It's not just practice for me. He said it so casually too. Well, わかった. じゃあ、見せてよえザザクロにそれとも他の人で見せてくれるのそんなの絶対嫌ザザクロになら私にならできるのううん。There's no way we could actually do it though. We're both girls. She's just being stubborn. Huh? It wasn't just a joke? Oh, no, it's not a joke, alright. Or is she still being stubborn? Huh? Why is she tearing up? Um, could she be... There's no way she's really going to kiss me, right? Uh... Uh... Um... What? Why are we talking about this? Um... Yeah, why are we talking about this? Do... Do remind me again. We were talking about practicing or experimenting or something like that. I only egged her on because I thought... 
There was no way we would actually ever do it. Now my heart's thumping too. Why is that? Wasn't it all a joke? A after all, this is my best friend and she's a girl. She was my ally when we fought that the bullies and... uh, I shouldn't be getting nervous about this. But a kiss? Oh man, I actually just have a very, very bad premonition about what's gonna happen on the other route. Maybe Zakuro actually got got raped. And Kimika couldn't do anything to protect her. Oh god. Ah, what did I think about that? あ、いや、例えば年収なら親しい友人とかかなってさ。あ、なんかそういう話とかあるじゃん。雑誌とかでさ、女の子同士でキスの練習しちゃいましたなんてね。あ、そんな軽いノリでね。Do I definitely read about it in a magazine before. There was a reader submission where someone said they practiced kissing with one of their friends. So maybe it's not that strange after all. Kimika certainly is my best friend. Maybe it wouldn't affect our friendship at all if we did something like that. And yet... My heart was beating wildly in my chest. What, what is this feeling? We were alone in the evening classroom. My voice echoed in the hallway. あ、いや。君かのこと好きだから。別にそんなの気持ち悪いわけないよ。だって友達じゃん。あ、あ、そ、そうだよね。友達だよね。だ、だいたい私から言い出したことだし。えっと。Oh god. I could hear her heart beating in her chest. Her face was red like she had just run a marathon. Maybe my face looks the same. Her hand touched mine. I could feel it quivering and it was covered in sweat. We looked into each other's eyes. You're supposed to close your eyes when you kiss someone. I shouldn't have stared like that. As I looked at her, I couldn't help thinking. She really is cute, isn't she? She probably got bullied by Akasaka-san specifically because she was so cute. There is no other explanation. I closed my eyes just like she told me to. Her fingers dug into my hand. 
I felt her breath. I'd never felt anything like that before. My teeth started chattering out of nervousness. What do you mean? Isn't kissing just like lips to lips? Does she actually want to put her tongue in? Oh my god. <sighs> the games I play, man. <laughs> it would work better that way, huh? I slowly parted my lips. God, I, 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 I don't. I, I'm gonna mute you. <laughs> Her tongue darted into my mouth. I never felt anything like that. Just show me the CG of the kissing so that I can mute you guys and skip the scene on when I edit it out. <laughs> I couldn't believe a kiss could feel so good. Her tongue was so warm and soft. It's over already? Oh my god, Zakuro. I slowly moved my face closer to hers. She closed her eyes. Maybe I was supposed to close my eyes at this part too, but I wasn't used to this. It seemed like we we're going to hit, to hit noses if I wasn't careful. I looked at her face until the last moment. Soft skin and beautiful lips. I wanted to kiss her more. Our lips came together again with a muted sound. The soft sensation of our lips touching. Our bodies drew closer. As we pressed our lips and bodies together, our one. Our warmth seemed to melt into one. Kimika's tongue danced and twined itself around mine. I heard the sound of our saliva mixing and the sound of our tongues caressing each other. See you guys! Wait, that's it? That was fast? That was a fast scene. Okay, I wasn't expecting that to end that quickly. For a few minutes, we held each other. We just held each other, still naked, but our wits returned to us when we heard voices in the hallway. Oops. I guess I'm gonna recap what they did. <laughs> Might as well. For scenes that I that I skip like this or edit out, I'll probably give a recap. <laughs> Zakuro, like after what happened, right? Zakuro kept going in, and then Kimika's like, "I can't hold it anymore." <laughs> she became a boy, and then she was like, "Sorry, Zakuro, you must be grossed out that I'm such a freak." And then Zakuro's like, "Not really. I actually really like this." And then Zakuro kept calling her a pervert and some shit. <laughs> It was actually a pretty funny scene. Ahaha, <laughs> 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 ah, indeed. That was a short scene, though. I was actually... That was actually a pretty... Uh, um... 
like despite what they were doing it was actually it actually felt so na like it flew it floats so naturally like they were just having fun yeah what they're doing was sexual but their interaction was still very much kimika and zakura if you know what i'm saying so it was actually still a pretty nice scene なに笑ってるのかしら君か。あはは。ごめんなさい。確か。これ最初はキスの練習だよね。ライト。はい。なんでキスの練習なのに。こんな。お、sorry、sorry、Zakura。面目ないじゃないよ。謝ったって許さないんだからね。あ、あの、どうしたら、やっぱり強制わいせつ罪で起訴という流れでしょうか。あ、そうか。そういうこともできるのか。ってするんですか。それは嫌。そ、そりゃ、この年で刑務所送り